Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be demonstrating how to grab data from an online source and perform some data cleansing. So what we're going to bring in today is from Wikipedia. We have a list of star data trapped in a table and we want to perform some kind of an analysis on this table. Typically, you would simply take the website and we get the data from such the web. And so we paste in the URL and as the document, the information gets parsed, we will grab the table that we want to work on. So for this exercise, we're simply going to grab this table full of numerical values. This is grabbing the table from here. So we're going to load this and transform this into something we can use. So by default, the uh, data will be brought into Excel, but as you can see, a lot of this data can't really be used because it has a lot of special characters and plenty of things wrong with it. So what we're going to do is do a little bit of data cleansing to make this usable. Um, first things first, we see that the uh, first row is actually, for some reason, populated twice. So the, the headers are already there, but for some reason, this is here. So we're going to remove the first row. And, uh, we're going to use this remove first row and simply get rid of it. So as you can see, the first row has been removed. The headers were already there. So now we have the data. So what do we want to do with this? So let's say, for example, we want the minimum distance, the light years, and we want to calculate what the average of the um, minimum distance is. But unfortunately, we can't because all of these numbers have a plus or minus variable. So the problem is we can't really convert this to a number easily anyway because of the special characters and additional text. So what do we do? So we're going to do a little bit of data cleansing by adding a custom column. We're going to call this minimum distance. And what we're, what we're going to do is simply bring in the minimum distance, the original data, and we're going to use a function called text dot before the limiter. So what this function does is you pass in a delimiter you would like for it to find. And then it will give you the, the information before the delimiter. As we can see, there are multiple different variables. We have plus, we have plus minus, we have minus. So simply we're going to start with the most basic. We're going to pass in simply getting the information before the plus sign. So what do we have? So I'm going to bring this over here so we can see and compare what this looks like. So now that we have a side by side comparison, we can see that everything that had a plus sign preceding the number. Now we have the correct number. But unfortunately, all of the other variations, such as the plus minus, the minus. Well, I don't see a minus, but they are uh, still not handled. So what do we need to do? We just simply need to modify this existing formula. So what I'm going to do is write a simple if then statement. So I'm going to say, if each of these contains a plus sign. So basically, if the minimum distance column contains text.contains, text.contains a plus sign, then we're going to grab the text before the delimiter, which is the plus sign. However, if else, 
Else if. Else if it's plus minus, then we're going to do the same logic, but using the plus minus. So if that one is a plus minus, then we're going to grab the text before delimiter of the plus minus. And then else, if neither of those happen, then we just get a blank result. So what do we see now? Well, as you can see, if we reorder this, now if you look at both columns, the data has been cleansed. So as you can see, minimum distance plus minus, now you only have these as numerical values. Now you can calculate whatever you want, the number, you can add it together, you can, you can take the average, whatever you want. It's no longer text that you cannot use. Now you can do something with it. Okay, now that you have the minimum distance transformed into something that looks like a numeric value, we still need to change this into the actual numerical number before we can use it into any further calculations. We can either change this into a whole number or a decimal number, but it looks like this is a decimal number. We're going to simply convert this into that format. Close and load. And what do we have? We have minimum distance now converted into a number. Now that we have this, we can simply use any function that we uh, typically use to work with numbers. You can do anything. Let's say we wanted to find the average of the minimum distance. And uh, here we have it. Now it's calculated. So there you have it. How to do data cleansing simply using the text dot before the limiter function. Anyway, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that lesson and I'll catch you on the next one.